In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to combine two of the top concepts of Madden 23 into one passing concept that is super, super difficult to defend. We're going to be kind of combining uh, the PA shot seams deep corner and shorter corner route as well as the slant post concept in this year's game into one play which makes this almost impossible to stop now we're in the new orleans saints offensive playbook if you want to get my entire ebook on this formation make sure to become a patreon member it's only ten dollars to do that and it gets you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including this new orleans ebook and we're going to be updating all of our offenses here over the next couple of weeks in the patreon so it's a great month to sign up for the page all right, guys, PA shot seams, and here's the setup. You do want to have Hot Route Master for this, or at least two, maybe Slot Apprentice at your tight end position. or one. Of, basically, you need Slot Apprentice at two different spots. You need it at the left side receiver, and you could do it at the right side receiver or the tight end. That's kind of up to you. So how we're going to set this play up is fairly simple. We're going to corner route that left side receiver. And then one of these two receivers, we're going to basically create the slant post concept with. What I like to do with this play is I'm actually going to post Julian Edelman and I'm going to slant uh, the tight end here, which is Delaney Walker. We're going to motion that guy across the formation. And as you can see here, we've created a slant post over the middle of the field. And we've also created this double corner concept, which is super, super effective at attacking both man coverage and zone coverage. I think that the double corner concept is borderline one of the most effective concepts to come out of um, the Madden 23 competitive season because it just literally attacks everything. It's super hard to defend this because the deep defenders are not going to be able uh, to completely stop that deep corner route. And then the other benefit that you have is you have this underneath slot apprentice corner route that if they freeform it down outside, a lot of times that's going to be able to be very effective at attacking both man and zone coverage. When you couple that with, we're going to basically funnel the user to force him to have to stick into the middle of the field by defending this slant post concept. This play literally cannot be stopped in man coverage. You are gonna have so many routes open. As you can see right there, the slant is able to beat man coverage to the left side of the screen. Now, another really critical uh, teaching point with this play is learning how to throw this post route against man and zone. So what you wanna do with this post route here is you're gonna freeform it down and inside against man coverage, as you can see right there. And then against zone coverage, I'm gonna show you this play first against cover three, and we'll get to the corner routes here in just a second. But what's nice about this post route here is you can basically high point this in soft spots and zones. So what you'll see right here is we can actually throw that post route if they come down on the slant. If they stay up on the post, then we can throw the slant. I think you're gonna see more success if Julian Edelman is on the post. I just think he's going to run the route uh, just a little bit better than Delaney Walker is going to. And what you'll see here though, is you can highball this post in front of the deep blue defender in the middle of the field. Now, this is also very advantageous for plays like, or defenses such as cover four drop as well that you know kind of bring these safeties down. Now, on the left side of the screen, you're going to be able to really take advantage of this double corner concept here. And basically, Michael Irvin's route is like a very, very high level and effective pull route or vertical, uh, vertical pull route or streak route. So it's going to pull back any kind of outside third, any kind of outside quarter, and then you can basically free form or just simply get the ball to the player over there on the left side of the field. So what this forces um, the opponent to have to basically do is they have to play backed off cloud flat coverage. Now, this is where the slant post concept becomes very helpful because notice that I'm not blitzing anybody either, by the way, we're dropping eight every single time. If they blitz you, the holes in the defense are super significant here. And you have play action pass protection, which is widely considered the best way to protect this year. The post route is actually really good because of what it does to the deep half. If you look at instant replay here, what you're gonna notice is that this deep half defender, if you watch him, even especially if they bring him more down into the box, what you're going to notice here is if you look right here, he is actually going to be held slightly by this post. And then we're able to throw this over in this little window over here on the right side. Now, the benefit of that is not only are we able to throw the route to the corner route, but we're also able to throw, let me show you here in that cover two style of defense, 
we're also able to throw this if the opponent or if the user decides he's going to user uh, the left side of the screen, then what you're going to notice here is that the, the post is going to basically be open. So the user has to make a decision. Am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard the slant? This vert hook will almost always match um, this, this corner route. If they are in a you know situation like that, you see matches the corner route, and then I can throw that. I got to throw that a little bit earlier, but you see how open that post route is in the middle of the field. Um, and so this is a super super effective concept. It's actually extremely difficult. Um, you really have to have really good user. You have to have great pressure. Um, this is just a really hard concept to stop this year uh, because of how consistent that throw is in a soft spot against the coverage. Guys, this play is super, super effective. I'm going to show it to you also against match coverage. Again, we haven't gotten too far into the slant post, but the slant post has been one of the best concepts, I think, this year. Uh, for sure, I definitely think it's at least in the top five. You'll notice that the slant can just be thrown in so many different windows against the defense. And so if they're not going to user that slant, typically the slant's going to be wide open. And then if they choose to use the slant, then typically your post route is wide open. When you couple that with the fact that you have one of the best zone and man beating concepts on the left side of the screen, this play truly becomes almost unstoppable just in terms of how consistent this play truly is here. You, the only thing that they can really do to stop you is stuff like that where you get the random like bumping and stuff that happens in this game. This is one of the reasons why I do believe that the, you know kind of you know want to be wise with who you're motioning across on that slant. But you'll see like right here, you know, just throw that pass lead that down. You don't have to freeform everything and that's going to be wide open for you guys. This is one of the best passing plays in the game right now. PA shot seems you've got the corner, the double corner concept. And then you also have the slant post concept coming over the middle of the field. If you want to put your running back on a little wheel route, have a nice little snap through a wheel as well. This concept is super, super effective. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire, you know, offensive ebook out of the Saints playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while you are a member. So make sure to go sign up for the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.